So question 10, uh, sketch the graph of y equals to e x minus 5. On the axis below, show the exact coordinates of any points where the graph cuts the coordinate axis. So first of all, we, we will want to uh, sketch y equals to e is power x. Now the graph looks like this. It never touches the x-axis. And when y equals to, when x is 0, e to the power 0, that's 1. So it intersects the y-axis at 1. So this is 0 and 1. This is the only point where it intersects. It will never going to intersect the x-axis. Now we're going to select some other color. And this is y equals to e to the power x. And we need to go one five notches down. So one, so this would be one, uh, zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus. So let's uh, do it properly. So this would be, let's suppose minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. So five notches down. So one, two, three, four, and uh, five. So the whole graph will one notch, two, three, four, and five. So this intersection point will come over here. So the whole graph will going to shift by five notches down. So at minus five, So this intersection point is zero minus four because we have gone down by five notches. So again, if this y equals to e raised to power x minus five, we're never going to be below minus five. It will never be below minus five. Now find the range of value of k for which the equation e raised to power x minus five equals to k has no solution. So again, as we have just discussed that this graph is never going to go below minus five. So the value of K would be, uh, so find the range of value of K for which the equation Y equals to uh, raised to power X minus five equals to K has no solution. So any point, so, so K is basically your Y. So K less than equal to five will have no solution because this graph Y equals to E raised to power X minus five will never go below minus five. So for part B, so this is your graph and one more thing. So this interception point, so this point would be, so this is y equals to e to the power x plus five. So this is the point where your y axis is zero. So minus five. So this would be e raised to power x equals to five. So ln e raised to power x equals to ln five. X would be ln five. So this point would be ln five and zero. Now, part B, simplify log a under root two plus log a eight plus log a 0.5. And we need to give your answer in the form of P log A2. So we can write this as log A2 to the power 0.5. Now because this is addition sign over here and log, this is log A again A. So we can multiply these components. So this would be 2 raised to the power 0.5 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 1. So this can be written as log A2 to the power 2.5. Simplicity, uh, so simple form would be 2.5 log A2. So P is 2.5. So 2.5 log A2. Now solve the equation log 3x minus log 9 4x equals to 1. So we can write this as LGx divided by LG3 minus LG4x divided by LG9 equals to 1. So this can be written as LGx divided by LG3 minus LG4x divided by LG3 raised to power 2 equals to 1. So again, 
as we continue this would be lg x divided by lg 3 minus lg 4 x divided by 2 lg 3 equals to 1. Now if we take 2 lg 3 as common this would be lg x minus 2 lg x minus lg 4 x equals to 1. So 2 lg x minus now minus lg 4 x can be written as minus lg 4 minus lg x. So if you have if you have lg 4 x this can be written as lg 4 plus lg x equals to lg 3 raised to power 2. So 2 lg 3 can be written as if this will go over there on the right and this will become lg 3 raised to power 2 you can write this. So minus LGX and 2 LGX, so this would be LGX. So 2 LGX minus LGX would be LGX minus LG4 equals to LG9. LGX would be equal to LG4 plus LG9. So we have LGX equals to LG4 plus LG9. So LGX can be written as LG4. 4 multiplied by 9 that is 36 so lg x equals to lg 36 lg lg cancels out and we get x equals to 36 so this is your answer